The People's Progressive Party PPP elected Papanjai as its leader in what was the party's first elective congress since 1992. Njai, who forced a sort for the backing of UDP in 2018 mayoral election, later contested the election as an independent candidate after having lost to Talib Ahmed Ben Souda at the party's primaries. Mr. Njai, a former youth leader himself, attributes the nation's slow growth to the lack of discipline amongst Gambians. The issue of discipline, uh, because if a nation is not disciplined, no matter how much millions and millions of dollars or dollars we bring in, it will all go away. And one, it um, uh, corruption will kill it. Two, inefficiency in the allocation of the resources. Three, lack of prioritization will also kill it, uh, because I think it's about time that um, we reprioritize um, uh, the sectors or the areas that uh, we think uh, we need to uh, invest in so that the government can move forward. Jai also called on a proper restructuring of the education sector by prioritizing its needs. And we also need to look at the uh, education system. Uh, for far too long, we our education system is based on teaching students, young people, adults, to become job seekers. We have to restructure the education system so that um, we, we, we become uh, job creators. Uh, if you look at um, the current statistics, a lot of the people, when you go to a university, you become a lawyer, you want to become a lawyer, uh, you want to be maybe a doctor, you want to be um, a financial person. Not everybody can do that. And what ends up happening is that that, that feels overcrowded. Um, once it's overcrowded, the areas that we need is the creativity, is the entrepreneurship, is, um, uh, is uh, the practical skills. PPP, the party that led the country to independence, has been toppled by a military junta led by former President Yahya Jame amid allegations of widespread corruption. Mumodukoli, Paradise TV News.